Cervical cancer is a cancer of the neck of the womb. That is the lower part of the uterus where it joins to the vagina. Thankfully, cervical cancer is falling in incidence in Australia and this is because of the success of the cervical cancer screening program over many years now. Traditionally, women attended their general practitioner to have a pap smear performed. This was a sample taking some cells from the cervix which would be examined under the microscope and if there was any abnormality, um, a woman was recommended to see a specialist. In 2017, the cervical screening program introduced a new test, which is called HPV testing. A sample is taken from the cervix in exactly the same way, but this time the test is looking at the presence of human papilloma virus which is a virus that we know is responsible for the majority of cervical cancers. As of August 2022, HPV self-testing has actually become available. So this means that if a woman is reluctant to see her doctor to have the sample taken from the cervix, she can take a swab from her own vagina in the privacy of her own home and have that examined in the laboratory. Importantly, if this test is abnormal, she then does need to attend her doctor to have the same sample repeated by the doctor and then that is tested again. Apart from the success of the cervical cancer screening program, the other thing that has been happening in Australia is the HPV vaccination program. So all boys and girls aged 12 are vaccinated at school and there is also the possibility for any woman up to the age of 45 to be able to access vaccination through her general practitioner. So as a result of widespread HPV vaccination and the new cervical cancer screening program, Australia is actually set to be one of the first countries in the world to eliminate cervical cancer. Women with cervical cancer, more often than not, will be diagnosed as a result of having an abnormal cervical screening test. But in fact, a lot of women who have cervical cancer, we've noticed that they have not been attending for regular cervical screening tests. They tend to present with symptoms such as bleeding in between periods, bleeding particularly after sex, or increased vaginal discharge. So if a woman, even if she has a normal cervical screening history or has attended recently for a cervical screening test, then it is very important that she reports these symptoms to her GP so that she can be referred for a specialist examination. The next step in checking to see if a woman has cervical cancer or not is seeing a specialist for a procedure called colposcopy. Colposcopy is an examination where, similar to having a cervical screening test taken, the cervix is inspected by a specialist gynaecologist and samples are taken from the cervix, small little biopsies which are then sent off to be examined. If a diagnosis of cervical cancer is made, a woman should then be looked after by a gynaecological cancer specialist as part of a multidisciplinary team. It depends on whether this cancer is thought to be small, in which case it can usually be treated with surgery. However, if it is a larger cancer, surgery is usually not possible and treatment involves radiotherapy, which is x-ray treatment to the pelvis, alongside some chemotherapy, which is a drug given through the vein. In those cases, it is not possible for a woman to fall pregnant again and even for early cervix cancer, some women may need to lose their fertility because they require surgery which involves removing the uterus. To keep yourself safe and reduce the chances of you developing cervical cancer, there are really three important messages. 
The first is to have vaccination. The second is not to smoke, which we know is a significant risk factor for cervical cancer. And the third, more importantly, is to continue having your cervical screening tests, even if you have been vaccinated.